Hello everyone, welcome back to another part in the Mules of Journey. Now, here we have seen couple of things yesterday um, regarding about the creation of example and creation of a data type. Now, is there a way that we can kind of reduce it further? I was just thinking, is there a way we can reduce it further? Okay, now see here. <coughs> There is a thing called as in the responses, there's a thing called as body and application slash JSON. Okay. And type is anyway success example. It is pointing over here. <coughs> and this is a bad example though, but we have to refine this example, especially the error part. Uh, though I don't think we want to have like this. We want to have a better way of understanding the error. Okay. We will revisit that later. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Uh, is there a way how we can eliminate this? Okay this application slash json itself well you can actually um see i'll delete this okay and i'll even delete this type <clears throat> now what happens by doing this you're telling the body that the body is of type success example which is this right which is this okay but there's an error it says that payload media type is mandatory payload media type is mandatory and i have not given anything uh, media type for this body. So let's give a global variable declaration. See media type. <coughs> so if you give like this and say uh, like uh, application slash JSON. Now you can see the error has gone, which means the application slash JSON media type is applicable. This media type is applicable to the whole global part, which means even I can remove this. Okay. Um, see here, uh, can I? Okay, body student type. Okay, student data type. Okay, response <coughs> student example. Okay, awesome, right? See, you can even type. Okay, like this. There is no harm in that. Okay, it's it's good that you say type uh, because you know it, it's a part of the type, but it's not required as well. So here I'm going to remove this as well. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to remove this, remove this, okay, see how cool is that, right? Um, gonna remove this as well, okay, and this as well, okay, finally, we need to somehow deal with this query parameter, we'll check that later, okay, um, this part and this part, okay. Finally, this part, okay, and I'm going to even get rid of this. I hope everyone are doing the exercise along with me, okay. And finally, this guy, okay. So, which is one, we learned another thing called as media type. Now, let's test it and see if this still works fine. Yeah, this you are getting this still student name and all the required parameters you have 100 and 400 it's a mocking service let's uh, hit on it this is a body send you will should get the response as 200 success okay which is good this is exactly what we wanted okay now let me copy this and take a backup i'm just taking a backup in my notepad plus plus now <coughs> with that being said okay um, I also wanted to tell you one more thing. Okay. In the student data type, now you can see there's a type object. Okay. Now, if I do something like this uh, in here, in the student data type, if I do something like this, now what does this mean? You guys know it's an array. So will that work actually? See here. If I click on the post operation, now can you see this it's an array of objects here it's an array of objects okay now the problem is that i don't know how to pass the data i'm just telling i don't know how to pass the data all we have done is a success example the success is pointing in the response but what about an example here i want to see an example even here as well which is here okay 
so let's do one thing let's copy this okay let's copy this and see if this works okay create a new file and i'll say uh, raml specification is of type example and i'll say student data type example student data type example and i can give json as well see i can even give json but here you can't give as example at that moment you need to say uh, other this should be uh, um yeah here other see other you can even give json but i don't want to give json i want to give it raml as it is and here um this is just an example right named example i'm not sure why it has taken raml okay uh, just let me delete it guys one minute just let me delete it and uh, or else let's do one thing i'm i'm deliberately creating a json let's create a json okay i'll tell you the reason behind it i'll say student data type uh, example i'll tell you the reason behind it later okay json that's it now i'm going to create an array this is this is obviously an array there is no doubt in that okay there is an array yeah so i'm going to create <coughs> multiple values okay i'm going to create multiple values here cool now i'm going to give the student name as name1 id as id1 and address as addr1 phone number as 1 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 active is a year is 2013 2 sorry 2022 semester is 8 and i'm going to copy this as it is create another one okay and here i'm just going to change it to name to id to address to and i change semester 7 okay i'm going to copy this example copy copy path go to student pa student type here and here if you can see if i scroll down a little back there should be a thing called as example examples means multiple value okay examples means multiple so let's take examples and here all i am going to say is or else let's take example for this stage okay example and i'll say include okay include paste it and obviously this won't work because see you are in this path okay you need to navigate back here and then back here okay so you need to use double dot it's kind of a navigation okay from it's like from the current path from this is from the current ba path go back to examples go back to examples and get this value now i've added the examples within the data type itself see i've added the example within the data type itself and here okay now there is a problem Mm, says that defines data type should be an object. Okay, let's pick that. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. This is it because of this? Let's see. Okay, I think we have a problem here, which means this particular example I cannot attach over here because it says that it is a type of object. Now there is no quick fix. Now we need to figure out. how to rectify that let's see that okay right so let's see how we can work this out i'm just thinking let's delete this json okay and mm, let's delete this json because this of no use it's asking for of type object which means one of them will work out okay so one of these parameters within the example should work out so let me do one thing let me duplicate it again and i'll do one thing let me duplicate it and i'm going to create student uh, data type example dot raml yeah now you have the type object but there's also thing called as you can also add value okay you can even add value okay so the problem that we what we had we had 
we, we wanted something as an array of data types, right? See, in the post, this is what we wanted. So <clears throat> let's go back here, paste it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this same concept <laughs> value, um, student name. Okay. Student name. Think about it. Okay. Um, student name. That's it. You guys and you guys getting it what I'm doing here. Okay. So uh, let me delete this. Let me delete this. Okay. Now let me even delete this. Anything that rings a bell that uh, what we are trying to do, we are trying to create something like this type string. Do you guys something remember this? Okay. Something like this, right? Do you remember type string? Okay. Required as false. Okay. So first let us check whether this works. Okay. Then we'll try to interpret it. Now we have given this value student name as this and everything. Okay. Save it. Let's uh, copy this path and see in this whether this works. Okay. Now I pasted it here. Now I want to go back here and check whether they're still showing an error. Okay. Student active should be a string, should be a string, should be a string. Okay. Cool. Now we are somewhere heading it. Okay. Now we'll go back here. Um, again, we will say type string. Okay. And let's give everything as type. Okay. It is just an example guys. It is just an example. Okay. We are, we are creating a named example. Now let us see whether the error is still there. It says that, okay. It still says that should be a string. Student active should be a string. Okay. Then we have a problem again. Now we need to, it says a student active should be a string, 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 string. Okay. Then, okay. Let's go back again here. So we are, see, we are coming closer to it. Okay. We are just trying to understand what exactly is the mistake. Okay. We'll go back here and try to rectify this. This is of no use. Okay. We'll see what else we can rectify. Okay. So how about this? Since it says that we need a string. Okay. How about I just give like this? Okay. How about I just give like this? Okay. See here. Now, since this is an example, guys, remember, this is just an example. Since this is an example, there is no need of saying data type or type because type is already defined. There is no need to give anything like that. Okay. So I'll just say student one, student one, will this work? Let us check. Okay. Let's check actually if this works. ID one, ADDR one, phone is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Active is A. Year is 2013. Semester is six. Okay. Now we have created a string. Okay. Let us see if this works. We'll go back here. Oh, wow. The error is gone. The error is gone, guys. Beautiful. Okay, the error is gone. See, now, what have we done with the help of the data type? In the, sorry, in the data type, we have added this guy over here. Now, let us see how it gets interpreted in the RAML sense. So, it's a part of post operation and it's an array. Click on the post and see. Voila. Now, you're seeing student 1, ID 1, address 1, see A 2013-16. Now it's an array, obviously it's an array. Now if I try to try it, uh, you will get something like this, but that's okay. Now you know it's an array. Now if I change it to just student type, okay, obviously it becomes an object. See here, it becomes an object. Okay. Now is there a thing called as array? Okay. So if I go back here and um, if I say instead of type object, if I say type array, guys does it really make sense okay now you tell me does it really make sense it will always throw an error remember guys that's what i've been telling this is just an example in example there is no need to tell type non-type array integer no you're just giving an example in the example why are you defining the data type it's not required it is defined over here okay so no need to do that okay 
so it makes no sense okay so remove this is just a value okay just a value you have to add it and here if i say type as array see here now if i say type as array okay now again this becomes a problem there is a way of how this has to be interpreted okay this the array part we will deal at the later part of the section uh, even if not in this ramel part we'll look at the in the bonus part of it but array is something that we have to deal with that very carefully but here as you can see we have created an array like this okay even success example if you want you can even make this as an array but that does not make sense okay does not make sense cool now with this we understood media type how to add an example within the data type and how to create uh named example okay see there is also another thing called as examples okay see there is also thing called as examples and if that's the case again as i said everything is a key value pair right so i'll say ex1 examples will host multiple examples as simple as that so do you have this definition for examples uh defining examples in ramel see multiple examples okay let's click on this and uh, where are you multiple examples okay uh, i don't think they have given any right example for us um, okay mm, see the optional examples facet okay now what is a facet guys what do you think a facet is facet meaning meaning in english okay facet means a particular aspect or fe feature of something it's a feature of something a particular aspect or a feature of something it's like one side of something many sided especially cut off gem this is not relevant to us it's a particular aspect or a feature of something so when they say example feature example facet it means example feature of something may be used to attach multiple examples of a type declaration we have seen that now and it must be a key value pair exactly see key see here key value now does this change anything over here in our example let us check that mm, i'll go back here so obviously it doesn't change anything okay now what if i just see this now what if i duplicate this i'm just showing this duplicate i'll say uh two i'll just say two and here i'm going to say student to id to address to and student year 2014 okay now i'm just going to copy this copy path go back here and i'm going to say ex2 so here include paste it now save it okay so it auto get saved i'm sorry it auto get saved now go back here post it see here we have two examples one and two got it see ex1 ex2 so that's how the example works but that's a bad example uh, we don't want to get into something like this okay that's a, we don't want this to happen okay but i'm just giving saying that there is an there's a property that we can utilize it okay cool guys with this we'll conclude this video and let's see what else we can learn in the upcoming video thank you